skip. And I love what you're wearing. You skip liquid for beautiful clothes. And you're back with your Feel Good Breakfast Show. It's Expresso here on SABC3. Now, experimenting with fashion is an important part of discovering your individual style. But sometimes we can get carried away with seasonal trends, adopting a look which may say the wrong things about us. Now, in today's episode of the Skip Style Workshop, we're discussing symbolism in fashion and how certain looks are best left to the runway. Joining me in studio to debate the pitfalls of this season's subculture trends are fashion experts Alexa Shafay. May and Bev Nates. Good morning, ladies. How are you? Excellent. <laughs> so, Alexis, there are a lot of themed or rather style themed trends this winter. So much to choose from. But where did certain trends like uh, or rather uh, genres like grunge and punk and boho actually originate? You know, it's quite interesting. A lot of these fashion genres that we're now accepting as mainstream mainstream trends actually yeah. originated from subcultures that were rebelling against contemporary fashion at the time. Yeah. So now we see grunge as this huge trend, but essentially um, fashion is actually accepting a style, a 90s style that was started in opposition to what people were wearing at the time. Really it's quite symbolic of fashion, you know, the more alternative something is, the more the chances are that it will take on and become a trend. Exactly. Now for fashion experts like yourselves, I'm sure you really understand what those are, but Bev, don't you want to maybe just explain the different fashion genres for us? Sure. Well, this season we can see a strong reference to grunge, mm -hmm. punk and bohemian or festival light coming through in mainstream fashion. Grunge being worn, torn, distressed, checked wow. shirts, um, Doc Martens, beanies, yeah. very Cara Delevingne. Wow. It's that kind of... I don't give a damn look. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, that explains it quite nicely. Yeah. <laughs> and punk would be much more flamboyant, leather, piercings, um, lots of attitude, yeah. much more hardcore. And then boho, kind of flower child, lots of printed silks, tassels, feathers, um, jewelry, gladiator yeah. sandals. Wow. Yeah. That's quite amazing because I think fashion is an attitude and all of these are kind of like different attitudes throughout time Com as well. Completely. Three different states of mind. I love it. So much to choose from which might not necessarily be a good thing because certain uh, themes or certain fashion trends go with certain environments and occasions. How do we bring those two together? Well, I mean, you know, you just, you have to remember that all these genres, they are a dress code for yeah. a subculture. Yeah. And they were started as, you know, rebels. Mm -hmm. So really you have to remember that grunge was associated with anti-social behavior. Yeah. You know, these were the dropouts. These were kind of, you know, like we say, the rebels. Punk is associated with anarchy and complete disorder. And, you know, boho, even though it is associated with the more peace-loving 70s hippies, yeah. you know, it's lovely to be wearing a flowing skirt with flowers in your hair if you're going to a festival. Mm. But if you're not actually going to a festival, you're on your way to a really big <laughs> board meeting, you're just not going to be taken seriously. Yeah. So it's always important to consider what you're wearing and to wear. Because, you know, ultimately, fashion can say so much about you. So you need to make sure that you're saying the right things. Exactly. But, yeah. Bev, how do we wear all of these different trends without going too yeah. far, though? Because that's, that's the test. Yeah. Well, I think it's always Im important to borrow from a trend mm. um, and not wear it head to toe, you know, for your individuality and n not to take fashion or trends too literally. Yeah. So, in other words, for, for the grunge trend, you could wear... Um, you could take a tartan shirt or um, some, some jeans and dress it up, dress it down. For punk, let's say you're going to the office, you could wear a leather shift dress yeah. um, or a leather jacket with a pair of booties. And for boho, you could wear a kimono, a French kimono um, top or jacket with um, a maxi floral dress, gladiator sandals. Yeah. Um, also, once again, for punk, you could add a tartan jacket with a yeah. crisp white shirt, cigarette yeah. pants, brogues. Not make it too literal. Enjoy it and make it your own. Wonderful. But now, the thing is, like, you've given us so many different options in terms of um, what to wear as well. How does one look after these things at the end of the day? Well, you know, this winter there are so many different fabrics. 
So I always say it's so important to actually read the wash care labels that are on the inside of your garment and not completely ignore them. Because not all fabrics can actually be washed the same and the same cycles or on the same temperatures. So you need to actually read those instructions and wash them accordingly. Mm -hmm. You know, and don't overspin your jerseys, which is yeah. a big mistake people make. And if there is a delicate item, something with embellishment, hand wash it, please. Or at least wash it inside a pillow slip. But you know, one, one decision is quite easy. And that is if you use Skip Auto Liquid, you can use it for all of your fabrics. It preserves um, color, texture, yeah. and shape. And the best thing is you can use it at any cycle setting or any um, temperature setting. Wonderful. So really, it's incredibly versatile and fabulous for your winter wardrobe. So no matter how diverse your style is this season, at least you've got one detergent that will do the job. Oh, I love that. One thing to do everything. Yes. That's so fantastic. <laughs> Thank you so much to our fashion experts for weighing in on how to look after our winter garments and how to look fabulous this winter as well. Lots more to come on Expresso. Over to the boys. I'm you, Skip. And I love what you're wearing. You Skip Liquid for beautiful clothes.